if you have a skill, like it's being a broadcaster, then to stand in front of a class at a business school or an event, that's going to get you through. And I realised that it, it doesn't. You need to have another skill set, which is how to not just speak to a camera or speak to a, you know, we call it a sponge on a stick in radio, in English, a sponge on a stick. Um, you have to actually get connection with people and get chemistry and you have to earn the trust and you have to earn the respect so that you can motivate and inspire people to get something done in time, get off their seats and stand up for example, get assignments done on time, so that's another skill set. <laughs> Eu achei incrível a forma como eles abordam a digital media e como, na realidade, é o futuro. É uma coisa que já todos nós sabemos, mas é sempre importante perceber como chegar lá e como, uh, como lidar com isso, porque há muitas, muitas das vezes temos alguma relutância em uh, embrace the future. Everybody knew, everybody wanted to spend as much money as possible in mobile. All the digital guys knew that that was the right thing. The industry knew it was the right thing, but nobody was willing to do it. When I got bigger platforms, I always felt that it was my obligation to set the standard for what's possible so that all the other people who wanted to do amazing work had a proof point that they could show their organization that, hey, the largest companies in the world are doing this, we should be doing this too. So. Dar formação àqueles que são os nossos clientes, aos gestores e aos diretores das empresas em Portugal e também perceber quais são as preocupações anuais deles e compilar isso e antever um pouquinho aquilo que vai ser o desafio.